Okay, this is a true story about the late Macho Man Randy Savage. Back in uh, November of 1978, uh, in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, Randy Savage, when he was um, becoming, not becoming, or, you know, he was already a professional wrestler. I think he wrestled, this was in Jeff Jarrett's dad's, uh, Jarrett uh, Wrestling Organization or whatever. Anyway, uh, it was a Wednesday night. I heard this story told by Dutch Mantel, who you might know as Zeb Coulter, We the People. And Jim Cornette, they were laughing their butts off when they were telling this story. I remember it was a Wednesday night. Randy Savage and uh, Rip, Rod Rip Rogers, another superstar wrestler, they entered this. Uh, they went into this Waffle House to get something to eat. Um, I'm going to uh, embellish. I'm going to uh, how should I say this? Uh, embellish this story a little bit. But this really did happen. This whole Waffle House uh, fight story. Anyway, so Randy Savage was about to get his order, and this cook, or this guy, can't remember, I think he had, uh, Dutch or Zeb said he was a cook on first shift, but uh, he interrupted the whole Waffle House, and he told everyone that, that he was getting married, and that stopped Randy from getting his order. Uh, he was irritable anyway, he was really so freaking pissed off, and I don't know how how much, uh, I don't know how, how, it la how much it lasted, uh, but, uh, eventually when Randy, he was sitting in the booth, Randy, uh, said, and the cook cowboy was, uh, over there in the corner or something, because I, I wasn't there, I'm just trying, trying to get the story straight, but Randy said, I mean, Randy said, who gives a fuck, who yeah, and then the cowboy heard him, he walked over to Randy, he said, what did you say, boy, and Randy says, I said, who gives a fuck? You interrupted my order. You don't do that to the macho me. Oh, yeah. And eventually the cowboy just said, do we have a problem, boy? And Randy Savage said, I don't know, do we? And then they got into a fight. It was a big... They got into this old fight. I remember, um, Zeb... I'll say Zeb. Zeb, uh, said, uh, him and his cowboy was scroffling, uh, in front of a jukebox, and then uh, the cowboy grabbed a knife, but Randy, he also grabbed a knife, but it was a butter knife, but they, I think they were sword fighting each other, oh man, this is hilarious, I wish I was there, I was, this was before my time, but eventually the police showed up, I don't know, someone called the cops, but the cook, the cowboy ran out the door, but I think the, everybody, every, everyone in the wild house, but Randy ran out the door, I, I don't know, but, um, uh, one of the cops said, Randy, calm down. And he said, oh, no, you don't tell that to the macho man. That son of a bitch started it first. Oh, yeah. They couldn't calm him down. He was just tearing up the place, I guess. And they, they tried to calm him down. And one, this ha also happened. One, uh, I, the, one of the cops tried to uh, mace him. And he gets out of the way and he hit, and he hit the other cop in the face. And I swear this sounds like a wrestling match from the WWE or WCW, but it ain't. But he misses Randy, and I think Randy grabbed one of the cops' nightsticks, or whatever you call them. I'll say nightstick. And he threw, uh, threw, them, uh, threw one of the sticks on the floor. I'm sorry. He threw uh, the nightstick on the floor. They still couldn't calm him down. He was, uh, uh, he was just uh, getting ape shit crazy. The cop, one of the cops said, please, Randy, calm down. He said, oh, no. Freak out. Out. You don't calm the macho man. I come down when I want to calm down, son. Oh, yeah. But they still couldn't calm down. Uh, and soon enough, uh, one of the cops decided to bring one of the, you know, German shepherds, the canines, and that canine bit Randy on his uh, butt cheek. Oh, and then they finally uh, got uh, Randy, uh, they cuffed him and put him in uh, into the Nashville jail, and then they put him in the car for us, and then brought him to jail. I'm sorry, I just had to get that story out. That's one of the most hilarious stories ever. And uh, Randy's father, the late Angelo Popple, he bailed him out of jail. I think that night or next morning, I, I don't know, but uh, that's one of the most hilarious stories of the Macho Man I ever heard. I mean, I heard a lot. I hear a lot of different wrestling stories in their real life experiences. But that, that is just one of my all-time favorites. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just had to tell you guys that story. And I embellished, embellished it 
embellished it a bit, you know, I just had to do that. But the moral of the story, don't interrupt Macho Man Randy Savage when he's that hungry. You just don't do it. That's the moral of the story. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Ooh, yeah.